It's recording. Turn it off. Hello guys, it's Paul with you today. Uh, human flag tutorial. First, I wanted to say, if you can find a square bar like this one instead of circle, it's much easier to learn on it because as you grip it with your hand, uh, there's a lot more friction, so your hand wouldn't start sliding off around as you're doing the human flag. So if you can find a pole like this, this would be best. I haven't done a human flag myself for a while, so I'll try one right now. The each should. Here's the grip. This hand goes like this, under grip, alright? So here's my hand, put it like this, palm out, grab it like this, alright? You can have your main finger go down the bar like that, or around, doesn't matter. And this hand goes like that, so my palm is out. So I grab this hand like this. Uh, it's better to have your thumb go around the bar as well, not behind the bar, around the bar. So. Uh, you can try it both ways, but I think this is hyperextending your thumb, so it's not as good. So just have your thumb go around the, the hole as well. And this one, um, the thumb goes the opposite direction as your fingers. It's for a better grip. And then you go to the side, you lock both of your shoulders out. Alright. Then you just pick up your body. All right, I guess I'm still able to do it. All right, so now I'll show you the whole extended tutorial how to train for that. Whew. All right, I'll have to do part. Uh, right now, let me cover the muscles real quick that the uh, human flag works. First of all, when you're in this position right here, well, the grip is pretty common sense, but you have your lat working. It's pulling your body towards, uh, towards the bar and uh, picking it up. Otherwise, you'll just fall. On this hand, you have the shoulder that's pushing it out, that's pushing the hand out. Well, first few times you really feel it in the shoulder. I mean, physiologically, well, yeah, the shoulder's pushing up. It's like pushing up a weight against the bar. So your shoulder's gonna be working there. And uh, your whole side right here, abs, your obliques, and your whole, I forgot what they're called. Just call them oblique, side abs, whatever they pull your whole body upwards so on a, uh, a good exercise depending on which arm you want to do that two arms is better but i can personally hold it with my right down here my left up here that's the best way in the longest i can hold it um, but if you want to be very symmetrical i'm pretty symmetrical but if you just want to be extremely symmetrical you're going to practice this with both arms so the first exercise this time is uh just try to hang on one arm. Well, this is a move in itself that you should have as a prerequisite. It's just hanging on one arm. And uh, pick your body up to the side. So if you're hanging, try to do these raises. See, I can't even do them high <laughs> at all. So uh, as, as, as long as you can do it a little bit, it's good. Just train like this. Pick your whole body up to the side. Alright, because that's going to help you exercise the obliques. And even better move is uh, if you start at the top, so you pick up both hands to the top, go sideways a little bit, and then lower sideways. So you have almost a side front lever in a way. So let's do that again. Alright, like that, just do those raises. That should get your obliques a little bit. Um, another thing. This is the main exercise, all right? This is the only exercise, pretty much the only exercise I used to get uh, the human flag. If you can find a bar like this, if you don't have one, find a pole where you can grab onto the pole or on top of the pole and uh, jump up with your legs straight up. It looks very difficult, but it's at least 10 times easier than the human flag. Looks like this, I'll demonstrate. Um, so you, you go like this, uh, lock, always have everything locked, so you lock your elbow out, and remember with this arm you're pushing, with this arm you're pulling, alright, so this arm's always pulling, this arm's always pushing, because there's no friction when your hands are cold. Go like this, my arms are both locked, and I would jump up, jump up, and both, you can go like this first, sucked, uh, while you can't do it, then learn to get it raised. All right, this is at least 10 times easier than the human flag. And then slightly start lowering. Then 
there you go. Of course, first times you're just gonna fall and fail it. No problem, I had the same thing. So basically, the main move, the easiest move, of course to get to this, you're gonna have to do the side practice and stuff like that, and uh, pushing practice. For shoulders, you can find something like this, I know. I'm just very convenient having all this stuff over here as equipment. Go on this side, real quick. Uh, you grab on right here, and right here. Right, so I'm already pushing. And then try to raise your legs up a little bit. So just, it doesn't matter, tucked on tucked. All you're focusing on here is for your shoulder to hold the whole weight of yourself. So uh, grab up and try to hold it with your shoulder. Blocked. No problem if you fall. I'm just spinning a little bit over here. All right, just trying to get the shoulder to hold it. Once you've done that, once you can pull it over there, just suck it in, pick your legs up, and slowly decrease to where you can hold it. So let's say my legs are straight, up like this, first I did tucked, I'm over there, all right? And uh, my legs are straight up, and I start lowering them little by little. Let's say after this point, I know if I go lower, I'm gonna fall. So what I'm doing, I'm holding it static right here. Just hold it static as long as you can. Then you fall, rest a little bit, walk around, jump up again, hold it again. Mosquitoes. You, you go down a little bit, and uh, you'll do even less maybe. I don't know. It's gonna vary from time to time. Man, uh, every single time you come, your angle is gonna start De increasing or decreasing well in short your legs are gonna be able to go down more and as you get there you'll finally be able to do the human flag I'll show that thing once again uh, go on this side this time uh, let me show it on the pole since none of you guys have this so you would grab the pole like this or on the top if you have it ending low grab it right here grab it right here this uh, the whole thing is try to position your hands properly either like this or like this like that uh, so adjust so that you don't spin has to be exactly the right angle it takes practice so you jump up and you hold it like this for example if you can't go down too low and then you go lower and lower until you get it Whew. A little tired. So get a square pole. This is number one for learning. Square pole or one like that where you can have a handle at the top. Start practicing there, then move on to a square pole and then to a round one. But basically that's it in a nutshell. Um, comment, let me know what video you guys want me to do next. I'll do that. If you want me to refilm this one or if you want me to just cut stuff out, make it look professional, I could do that, but I never did my planche professionally got a million views on that thing literally <laughs> all right guys see you later i uh, watched my last video it was a follow along workout you're gonna have that up uh you, you can follow along with that one and uh subscribe if you like my videos subscription just gets you updated every time i post a video so you don't have to go on my channel all the time that's pretty much it thanks for watching bye go I'm still spinning. Yeah, I don't know.